It's our first film of the new year and we've got something a bit special for you. Not only have we got a treat for the fans in the form of Mr. James Schneider, but in a climate in which many deer stalkers are seemingly being encouraged to take longer and longer shots at their quarry using top-end rifle scopes, we're getting back to basics and will instead be using open sights in an attempt to reconnect with our quarry and focus on the art of stalking. Okay, so what rifle are we going to use for this? Well, here again we've got something a bit special for you in the form of John Rigby's new highly acclaimed Highland Stalker. Cracking bit of kit this. James, what do you think? I think it's really, it's a piece of art. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I've been really excited to get my hands on this and what's so good about it is the fact that this has come straight to me with the open sights or the steel sights as some people refer to it as. And that gives us an opportunity then to try this rifle before we put a scope on it and, and try this thing out about using open sights because I think that's really, really exciting and gives us an opportunity to reconnect with our quarry and really getting close to some close proximity stalking. James, I don't know about you, mate, but this is this is quite an unusual experiment. I no, think. absolutely, and you know, you, shooting off of the open sights like this is something that is going to be a unique uh, a unique turn of events for us because you know we're so used to really high end optics, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Well, this is it. You know, I don't I don't know about you, James, but I used to start off with open sights when I was shooting an air gun. I had a Varrock HW80 yeah. in 2.2. Yep. It was a nice little air gun. It was brilliant. I used to shoot rabbits at about 20 yards with it. So. That, oh yeah, tell a lie, actually I used a, 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 an open sights on, on some boar, but apart from that, never deer stalked with open sights. So that's absolutely fantastic. And the viewers have got another treat because you are, we're not gonna, rather I'm not gonna keep harping on about the 308. Instead, because this John Rigby rifle, modeled by my beautiful assistant, is in the iconic 275 Rigby, also known as the 7x57 Mauser. Okay, so it's all very well referring to this as an experiment, but we've got a very important duty of care to our quarry. So anything we do, we want to make sure is 100% humane. So let's talk a little bit about where we want to be placing our shots. Um, James, heart-lung shot, yeah? Yes, heart-lung shot. Uh, what I grew up calling this in America is the cavity shot. We've got about a six inch uh, range in here or grouping that we want to be uh, effective with, with this rifle uh, to make sure that we're effectively dispatching. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I, you know, six inches there on these, on these smaller species, maybe mm -hmm. eight on a larger species. But we want to be sure that 100% of the time we are rattling our shots off into that kill zone. So we're not going to push the distances out here. We're going to keep the distances in because, as I say, this is about close proximity stalking. Hailed as a traditional deer stalking rifle, the new Highland Stalker is inspired by the same smaller calibre rifles Rigby produced at the turn of the 20th century, used by iconic British adventurers such as Caramojo Bell and Jim Corbett. The rifle took three years to develop, with Rigby's historic partner Mauser, and features as standard include traditional Rigby pattern iron sights, which we're using today. So first of all, and being mindful of our obligation to take humane shots, both James and I start off at just 30 yards. James starts off from a high seat and I'm shooting off sticks. Perhaps, unsurprisingly, we're pretty much bang on. We now push the distance out. 65 yards. This time, I group a little wider, but I'm still in the kill zone. Finally, we each take two shots at the steel target from 100 yards. I use a tree for support, and James sets up on the quad. Oh. 
Well done. Good. And so as the skies finally clear, we're finishing off an absolutely great morning down here in West Sussex. James, I don't know about you, but I think we've learned a thing or two, haven't no, we? Absolutely, and what a lovely, well-engineered piece of kit this rifle is. Cracking rifle, yeah. isn't it, I have to say. And the other thing we've learned, of course, is how amazing we are, because that was <laughs> quite, quite generally, I think quite generally, you know, we, we were shooting quite well there, yeah. but it just shows you, and we were out to have a little look at open sights, mm -hmm. and we could do it, 30 yards, we were absolutely bang on in the kill zone, mm -hmm. weren't we? Yes. 65, mm -hmm. all well within that, that, that cavity, as mm -hmm. you call it. Mm -hmm. and even out to 100. True. The reality is we're probably not going to shoot at 100. No, uh, um, uh, this is all about uh, back to basics here. We've, uh, we've heard from so many of our friends in uh, North America who are bow hunters who've been encouraging us to get him back closer to the quarry and really this type of an approach does it. And, uh, and the one thing I've learned is that the confidence is there to be shooting up to these ranges with open sights albeit we would be keeping it to 60, 70 yards. I think that's it. Yeah. I, I would feel comfortable because you've got to allow for when your elbow's in a, in a thistle or yeah, in a puddle absolutely. or something like that yeah. and you're not going to be quite so accurate as you here in, are in a sterile environment. Sorry, and, and, so I think, yeah, I'm sorry, in truck, I mean, I think quite generally if we keep that well within 100, I think we're, we're good to go on yeah, that. I'm confident you? as well and that's the best for, you know, obviously for the quarry. That's yeah. what I'm and 275 Rigby, also 7x57 or 7x57 mm -hmm. Spanish Mauser, it's yep. sometimes called. First time I've ever shot that caliber to my, my shame. What my, do you think of it? Myself as well. I loved it. I thought it very, very nice to shoot. Uh, frankly, uh, Pete, I think we may have discovered yet another cure for Scottish wind. <laughs> I think we may have done that. <laughs> James, thanks ever so much, mate. And if you would like to come stalking with County Deer Stalking, or you need some firearms training, or indeed if you'd like to try shooting with open sights, then then why not contact www.countydeerstalking.co.uk In our next film we'll be putting our newfound confidence with iron sights to the test as we set out in search of live quarry. <laughs> that was a bit of fun. <laughs>